purposely setting fires in the path of the flame to consume the fuel that's keeping those flames alive. The fire is 25% contained. It's already burned 53,000 acres. 9,000 firefighters from five western states are there. And while we watch the pictures of this huge fire thousands of miles away, Mark Picard is here to tell us we should not ignore the danger in our own front yard. Wes, you're right. The height of the fire season in Georgia is usually March and April with low humidity, high wind, dead leaves and branches from the winter. But this hot, dry summer has turned our state into an extreme fire hazard right now. Georgia forest rangers are on alert during a time they should be relaxing. On a normal summer day, this Georgia Forestry Commission plane is usually having its engine checked. But this is not a normal summer. Forest rangers in North Georgia are flying twice a day, sometimes seven days a week, to spot illegal burning and wildfires. We're having experience in right now probably twice the number of fires that we've had in a normal August, uh, roughly three times the number of acres that we've already burned from what we normally see in August. The Forestry Commission uses the drought index scale to measure fire danger. With zero being soggy and 800 being bone dry, 500 is considered dangerous. Most of Georgia is expected to be above 600 by this weekend, with some sections pushing 7. This scares the Georgia Forestry Commission to death. We are weeks away from leaf season, and already, because of the heat and the drought, leaves are beginning to fall. And this is just fire fuel. Georgia is experiencing what's classified as extreme burning conditions, producing intense fires that are difficult to extinguish. Not a pleasant prospect with Labor Day weekend coming up. Extremely concerned with it. We've got all our resources on standby, uh, ready to go. More people in the woods means more chance for fire. When we start District Ranger Jimmy Smith likens conditions now, now to living on a fault line. Yeah. The big one is inevitable. I don't want to preach doom, that type of situation, but the ingredients are there. Uh, we've been real fortunate so far, but the ingredients are there to have a major season. They will keep looking hoping they find nothing. You might think that such extremely dangerous fire conditions would prompt outdoor burning bans across the state. And while such a ban is in effect for Metro Atlanta, it is not in many of the parched sections of Georgia. That's because the Forestry Commission expects conditions to get worse and would rather landowners burn now if they have to. Wes, Brenda. All right, thank you.